Today is February the 20th, 2013. And I've got something going on here that's kind of interesting and I want to document this before I lose it. Uh, <clears throat> right now I have a, my oscilloscope probe hooked to the uh, grids of the uh, these output tubes are KT90s and this is what it looks like this is THD uh, the rest of it is ir irrelevant I've got the oscilloscope probe hooked into the, um, the distribution box that feeds everything it's about, a, about a kilohertz and there's its uh, spectral display mostly just a fundamental and uh, there's its THD. So we're driving the grid with a quite a nice signal. Now I'm going to move it to the other one. Same thing. To the grid of the other output uh, tube. And there it is. So uh, we have nice symmetry. Now if I take this off here, if I take the oscilloscope probe off, and put the uh, output the load on it of course I have to change the scales of many things there that is look at what is created there we are five percent there's its actual power to watch right there 60 watts there's its THD and that is what has been created by the uh, output tubes and the magnetics if that's the right word to use the, uh, the output transformer the output tubes so it transformed at quite nice pure signal of about 0.7.8% into 5% in the power stage and there is its harmonic profile We'll switch it back again just so you can see that is what the output tubes and transformer do to the signal that going into it actually looks like this Let's see if I've got it hooked up there that's what's going in a pure signal at that level THD and A signal that looks like that. It is transformed into this by the output tubes and the transformer circuitry. Now, I have learned to realize that the, the creation of music is, is definitely a different world from the playback of music. But uh, it seems like that uh, I'm beginning to learn, if, if I'm not mistaken, that the, um, the creation of music is very rich in harmonics, especially the second, which uh, push-pull amplifiers uh, suppress by their very design odd order harmonics we're always told and believe that uh, are the most offensive so this looks like it would be an offensive amplifier although it doesn't look much different from many of the other amplifiers I test constantly now one of the things I think I'm going to hopefully be able to employ in the uh, in the analysis of harmonics is this old vintage uh, 334A distortion analyzer by HP it's a beautiful device and you and you can null whatever frequency you want here the idea is to null the fundamental frequency and then what you measure is the uh, THD which is all the harmonics after you null the fundamental but I'm thinking that I might be able to use it to null harmonics and uh, it has an output right here this is the output after the nulling process takes place so if you do use it for what it's designed for, you would null the, the fundamental frequency and all that you would get out here is the uh, sum of the harmonics. So that's kind of interesting and, and maybe that uh, will uh, 
help in the analysis of uh, what harmonics are indeed offensive and, and which ones uh, we actually like. So there it is.